Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around. I know it's been a while again. I haven't been doing anything that's been creative at all. That's why I haven't been able to tape any content. You know, I've tried to do these with some kind of creativity. I've been doing a lot of maintenance around the place. And the coming up videos, you'll see, I, I'm redoing the truck camper because the way I had it before, I wasn't happy with it took up too much room um, and that's I, I needed something different so I remounted all the electronics uh, in a what I hope to be a better place um, and of course the uh, solar power I was showing you cutting aluminum I've got that all up uh, now and I'm just uh, I realized that my engineering failed um, with the uh, movement for uh, north and south. So I have to come up with a better way to mount that actuator. And I'll, sh I'll try to show you that in an upcoming video. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Um, and uh, what am I supposed to say? Subscribe and uh, thumbs up. Uh, help the channel maybe get um, some more users or viewers or subscribers well, I'm not good at this but anyway um, I appreciate you guys very much and I'm I'd start the spring is coming now so I I'm hoping to get back into some creative work with the shopsmith um, I, I kind of miss it it's been sitting there collecting tools instead of sawdust <laughs> See you later. Well, if you guys have been wondering, remember we cut the aluminum and they're now in place. And all I got left is to, uh, I missed videotaping at all, but put up this uh, anemometer. Got to get that mounted today. That flattens it out so when it's real windy, it won't break. I'm going to try to put that right there. So, I'm going to keep this running. Hopefully, it'll make an, it's, a, its adjustment towards the sun. It's set up to auto track. So, you might hear it run. I'll be right back. i got to get my screwdriver. That's what I've been up to. I know it's been a while since I've talked with you guys. <clears throat> I think I can get by with just using the... Uh... Oh, I just heard it move. I don't know if you heard it. It just moved. About every every 30 seconds or 45 seconds, I can't quite remember that it adjusts to the sun. Yeah. We'll go ahead and mount this up. This is the last remaining piece. program it. hope this came out I'll try to publish just this for just something um, but it hasn't really involved the shopsmith but 
fun project. I got to tighten it all up, the frame, and then I'll mount the uh, solar panels. Let's see. There's my solar panels. It's, uh, they're 200 watts each, so there's 400 watts sitting right there. It'll go up. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Here's my change. I had to uh, had to mount the north-south actuator onto this bar here. And then this piece goes up and attaches to the main platform so that it can pivot at this point here. This can pivot that keeps this part fixed. So that's what I did. I was hoping this thing would try to track right now, but there's not much, uh, not much sun out today. It's kind of rainy. But as the, as the panel turns, this will turn with it. That gets rid of all the binding. So I'm happy. It's, it's there. All right. Well, here's the shop tour. We're going in through the door. That's Sugar, my shop dog. She really likes it here. She hangs out quite a bit. Haven't done any work still on the shop's nest, so like I said, it's been collecting tools instead of sawdust. But I keep it in the center of the shop. So i just going in the doorway. Now we're heading north. Um, here's my uh, diesel heater that I use in the wintertime, and it works really well. It's an 8KW. And then I have a uh, grinding station here. Uh, it's got a grinding wheel for grinding metal and whatnot, and then a sharpening wheel for my lathe tools. And it does, uh, I use a Wolverine uh, jig. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but it fits right into the uh, grinder right there, right here. Uh, I like it. It works really good. Um, this is a wind turbine uh, power setup that I had to remove. It fell one winter. And wind turbines aren't all that great. Um, some storage area uh, that I've got. Hal, you said you wanted to see a working one. I haven't cleaned this all up yet, but it is a working shop, so... This is the north end, uh, the north wall. So I've got some straight edges up there and on the very top I mounted my uh, uh, fence for the shaper. There's all my shopsmith inserts where I really don't use anymore because I use my zero clearance um, charging station. Uh, let's get some shots into here. Uh, that's the lathe duplicator shield. I made this nice little uh, chisel holder and a matching pen holder. Made that on the shopsmith. Um, workbench. Oh, here's a uh, my, one of my vices. It's homemade. Got it from uh, the idea from a, a magazine article. Um, works pretty well. Um, I like the height that it's at because it uh, makes it easier. Sorry, makes it easier for me to do work. And my workbench area with a uh, tabletop drill. I may get rid of that. I use it, but I'm trying to consolidate down for my... Uh, Shopsmith work. We're moving around. There's where I keep all of my uh... Sorry, sorry sugar all of my clamps. I don't have a whole lot, but I've got enough that keeps me going Corner clamps there and I've got some little 
spring clips there. Uh, here's how I store my excess tabletop stuff. All I did there was use these, I got these at Home Depot, these little clips uh, into the wall. Um, it was a lot cheaper than using the Shopsmith way. Um, some camping equipment. These are stairs go upstairs. I'm not going to go up there, but here's where I keep a lot of my stuff. Try to keep it organized um, up there. So that's that part. Now the super mess. This is a workshop, and you see me always say I'm going to use some more scrap. Okay, here we go. Here's all my scrap. I have a good amount. There's a shop back there. And more scrap. Comes in handy. I like having it. Uh, this is how I do the uh, planer or the thickness sander. Or th uh, oh, shoot. I'm not, well, I'm still not awake yet. Um, but. Here's my shelves that I keep a lot of stuff on that I use. There's a homemade ambient air cleaner. Made it out of plywood and uh, when my uh, heater air conditioner broke, I took the fan out of it and put that inside. Uh, my CNC machine, homemade CNC machine. Can do two foot by four foot uh, pieces of wood. Um, it works well. It works well, but it takes a while to build the G code up. And that's my little 3018 CNC Chinese cheap. It works. Um, I've modified it quite a bit. Um, and then we're back at the opening. So that is the shop. 16 foot by 16 foot minus the stairwell uh, and cabinets and junk and storage and my deputy homemade shopsmith deputy so that's it in a nutshell guys thanks for watching